Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. We want to press game show. Mike C. And I'm Fred White. Hey, today we're bringing you an important topic. Yeah, no hair, no braids, no cornrows, no afros, no dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. A public school in Kentucky has banned everything that I just mentioned. And even um, there was a historical black college. Right. Uh, Hampton. Hampton University that banned these hairstyles. Um, this was a couple of years ago. But Hampton um, said that they banned it because they wanted their students to find a job. Mm -hmm. You know, and then after they found the job, they didn't care what else they did, what they had after that. Mm -hmm. I got a problem with that. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, that turned stereotypical type of uh, profiling. It's basically catered to African Americans because with the hairstyle, the braids, the natural, and they're saying that this is a distraction right. to keep people from learning. Just as long, I'm, I'm down for any hairstyle, just as long as it's not... Uh, I will say, uh, uh, just as long as it's clean. Right. Okay? Just as long as it's clean. Um, down for any hairstyles, just as long as it's clean. The people are, should be, a, and this is a world of expression. You should be able to express how you feel, you know, as far as your hair and your body, like you want to. But your hair, come on, man. What does it have to do with learning? has nothing to At do all. with your ability to accomplish things. Correct. We have had, back in the 70s, we have uh, uh, civil rights activists mm -hmm. that had bushes yep. and they weren't a distraction they actually got things co accomplished Correct. for you and I to be able to do what we do right that's now right. that's right you know and is let's just call it it is what it is it's a form of racism yep. it is because who wear these styles Every now reference. there are some uh, Caucasian white kids that do wear these styles like dreadlocks and braids cornrows and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but not as much as African Americans wear. Mm -hmm. And the, I've, I've seen stuff on the news where they sent like this little girl home because mm -hmm. she had her hair mm -hmm. and braids. That's sending the wrong message to these kids of the future, man. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that's going to be running this country. That's right. You and I is pretty much done to all we could do as far as running the country unless we get into politics and do some changing. These are the kids of the future. That's right. And just to come at them because of their hairstyle, you know, I, mean, I th that just boggles my mm -hmm. mind. Because mm -hmm. I remember seeing something, uh, and uh, kids can have a partner here. Partner here. That's right. It was a straight. It was a nice part. It wasn't nothing all crazy. Look, this nice little. It was a slamming looking part, but it looks nice, you know what I'm saying? Nothing offensive wrote in the hair, and, and, and of course kids shouldn't have nothing like that, offensive mm -hmm. offensive stuff wrote in the hair. But if it's a straight line, or come on, man, you got to be for serious, man. Come on, man, these are the kids, man. That has nothing to do with their education at all. And I guess the light is going to hit it and then beam off the part yeah. and brightens <laughs> and this somebody going, eye. And then somebody going to die in the wrong line or something like that. Man, get out of here with that foolishness. That's all it is, just straight up foolishness. And I've I've had this done to me personally. Mm -hmm. Now, although I say Best Buy is one of the most best places to work at, I've had a form of hair racism at Best Buy, and I'll never forget it. It was this guy named Milton. Long story short, my interview was uh, consists of me talking to him for about thirty minutes about nothing but technology, mm -hmm. and I used to you know how I uh, repair computers outside the store. His thing was I got the perfect position for you. That's stock. And he put me in the stock room after me telling him everything I can do. Also, when I was working at Staple as an Easy Tech associate, they didn't believe that I could do half the stuff that I could have um, did when I was working there as far as fixing iPads, fixing PlayStations, fixing Xboxes, fixing Macs. And I had all the stores calling me because they was wondering how we was making so much money. Um, this was in Clinton, Maryland. You know, we had stores calling them, well, how do you make that? Why are y'all making all this money? Because I'm bringing in stuff that's not even uh, uh, in the price list or the item list inside the store, but I'm fixing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it was all due to my hair. And this is a real story. And I found out later on that another manager told me, hey, the reason why they didn't do that because of your hair and all this other stuff, because mm -hmm. you look at like, like I'm a thug or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wasn't your average technician because I had to tell a couple of people a couple of times don't let this tie and this um these glasses fool you <laughs> are you the geek and all this stuff 
if you work for Geek Squad, you know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> that's how they come and say, are you the geek? Are, are you the geek? <laughs> and I, I'm nah, like, <laughs> that's my name right there. What can I help you with today? <laughs> and I'm telling you, man, it was a couple of times I turned up on the customers inside the Best Buy. But, you know, I had to restrain myself because I had a mortgage that I had to pay. You know what I mean? But it's just, it's just, it's just ridiculous. How, how can you be distracted by a person's hairstyle? Mm -hmm. Now, let's, let's put everything aside. I can see if they said no bushes uh, with a certain size allowed. Because maybe you, your bush is um, blocking the view of the person that's sitting behind you, right? Uh -huh, okay. Like when you go to church, you got the ladies with the big hats. Uh -huh. Or you go to a movie uh -huh. back in the day and the guy had the tall hat. Hey, sir, I can't see you. Can you move your head? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Other than that, sit him in the back where he's not, where he can't Block be nobody. in the way of anybody. Mm -hmm. But just to say you can't have this hairstyle. Just because I what, say so. What are you really saying? Exactly. And this is a public school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a type of control for it. That's all it is, a type of control. It's not a private school. Private schools, they can do what they want. They can mm -hmm. make rules and stuff like that. But public schools, this goes all across the board. Yep. You know, maybe PG County may inherit this. Maybe Montgomery County, maybe Virginia, maybe D.C. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, let's let's do something about it before it becomes an epidemic. And then what are they going to say? Well, light-skinned kids can't be in this class. Yep. Well, dark-skinned kids can't be in this class mm -hmm. because of their uh, a distraction. It's going to get to that point. If y'all let them get away with a hairstyle, yep. a hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Mike, that's ridiculous. That's I've had hair mostly all my adult life when I'm, I, I was growing up. Well, I've had hair all my adult life, <laughs> to say. And that has not stopped me from learning how to fix and repair computers, though I never went to college for it. Mm -hmm. It didn't stop me from learning how to fix I, um, pods back in the day, mm -hmm. how to fix PlayStations and Xboxes and work on Macs, build computers, edit videos, do video production, do photography production. Never went to college for any of this stuff, but I had hair. I had braids, I had cornrows, I had a bush, I've had a perm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I've, I've had a young jock thing, but I have young jocks part and all that other stuff. But I've I've had like different mm -hmm. hairstyles, mm -hmm. fillies and all that other mm -hmm. stuff. But that did not stop me from learning to do the stuff that I know how to do. I mean, it is just totally ridiculous, yeah, man. man. It's, it's totally, yeah. <laughs> I can't even think of another word for it, man. It just doesn't make sense. All right. All right. So is that it for you? Talk about this craziness. That's cool. That's about it, man. All right. Like always, you guys can hit us up at thegamershow uh, with gmail.com. That's the Gamer Show with the name. Don't forget to hit the store up for uh, different things that we have up on the site, as well as the stuff that we review. All right. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our SteamOS community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. What the facts? The Gamer Show. See you guys next time. Keep on watching. Keep tuning in.